enough lesson. I am talking stress again. I know I've talked about it a lot, but it is so damn important because everyone is wigged out these days. So I don't feel like I can talk about it too much considering it's such an epidemic in today's society. So I know that stress is one of the leading causes of dis-ease in our physical body. And it's also one of the biggest causes of our mental health not being firing and functioning and amazing for us as well. So it's one of the things that if you fix this, you are fixing so many different areas of your health and your well-being. Uh, I talk about this in Manic to Magic extensively and in the little free intro as well, we talk about how this is one of the pillars, but it's kind of like the pillars is the foundation of all the other pillars, which will be irrelevant if you don't have the foundation right, and that is managing your stress. So a little life lesson, we're always making these short and sweet, so I'm not gonna bang on for too long. I wanted to give you a quick fix remedy that you can get cracking on immediately. Calm Achiever. It's a little mantra, a little phrase, and I have a lot of them that I say to myself. I do have a voice in my head that talks to myself all the time, and I say Calm Achiever. Whenever I can feel myself starting to become overwhelmed with my workload, I remind myself that I'm a Calm Achiever, and it just helps me calm down a couple of notches. Taking a few deep breaths is also very beneficial when you can see yourself starting to react to different things in your life situation. I also wanted to give you a quick little strategy that I've been sharing with a few clients, with my husband and some other people, and they're telling me they're, they're really getting good benefit and feeling clear in the head from doing this simple tool, so I wanna share it with you as well. One of the reasons we feel stressed is because we are thinking about a million different things that we need to do, or we tell ourselves we have to do on a daily basis, and we don't let ourselves get laser focused on a particular thing. We're kind of flitting from one thing to another, allowing ourselves to jump into rabbit holes constantly. As we start a task, we see something else that needs to happen, so we start that. And then before we know it, we've got 50 projects going and we haven't completed any of them, and we're in a tizzy. So this little strategy is very helpful for you to stay laser focused. I want you to open up your emails and tell me how many you got in there. Write it in the comments. Let me know how many emails you've got in your inbox. I'm gonna tell you I have zero. My goal is that every day I have zero emails in my inbox at least twice a day. Of course, they keep coming in and I have to keep clearing them, but I wanna see at least twice in one day where it says no mail. The reason that I aim for this is because it clears my head. I can't be distracted by other people's urgencies for when I go into my email and I see 500 emails there, because that's what it got up to for me. I had 500, at one point actually, I had 600 emails in my inbox, and I ended up select all, deleting, because I thought I am never, I kept trying to attempt to get them down, I'd get them down to 400 and then they'd bounce back up again, and it was a mission impossible. So I ended up deleting them all and sending an email to the most important people that I had contact with, my staff, my husband, my family, um, people, you know, wholesalers, all those sorts of people. I'm sorry, I've cleared my emails. If you had something urgent that you needed to tell me, resend it. And you know what? The sky didn't fall down. No one died because I deleted my emails. I think we place way too much importance on those little critters that come into our inbox and pester us all day. So don't be afraid of the hard delete. My life went on. My business didn't suffer from doing that. I will not do it again because I now have a great system to keep it in check. So what I do, every morning I set a time and I have specific times I get on email other than me having to correspond to someone that I'm telling them something that needs to be shared as opposed to them you know, talking to me. So I have set times of the day in the morning at lunchtime and in the afternoon where I get onto my emails and I check what's there and I clear what I need to clear. So in the morning I'll get on there and I have three folders. One says to read, another one says to action, and the other one says to pay. So they're my three folders. I go through my emails and then I manage to delete, you know, you've always got the crap in there that you're never gonna read, action or pay. So you go in and delete those straight away. Once you've done that, you have a look. For some of them, you can do immediately. You know, if I get an invoice, I know I can just forward that straight to the bookkeeper and I just do that as I go. I don't move it and then action it later. Those easy, actionable ones, I just do then and there as I'm clearing my email. 
and then I'll see one that needs to be actioned. Someone's asking me to, you know, maybe it's approving all my social media content. So I'll put that into action. So I know that I need to get to that later. Maybe I've gotten something from one of my staff members that's just informing me of something they've been doing, a project, and I know I don't, I don't need to action anything. I just need to read what they're telling me. So their email will go into read. And if I get an invoice that's payable, it goes into pay. And I only do pays on a Monday. I don't let other people push me into doing anything on any other day because my time is precious. So that's one of the strategies I use. And then I know, okay, I have, you know, I'm waiting in the doctor's surgery. Today I went and got my skin checked, skin cancer check. And while I sat there in the surgery, I knew I had time to read some emails because I'm just sat there waiting. So it was a perfect opportunity to open up my email, go to my folder that says to read, and I clicked on, you know, the most relevant email and started reading it. Okay, now I know that. Delete. And I deleted it. There's other times like last night where I had a little bit of time up my sleeve where I could action some emails. I knew I had a bit more time to spare where I can actually get some of those done. So I opened up my emails with the intent of actioning someone's request of me. So I actioned some emails. But the way, the reason you're doing it this way is when you open up your emails to send something to someone else, you need that correspondence, you're not then getting sidetracked by someone else's email that's just sat there staring at you and you're not feeling overwhelmed looking at 500 emails staring back at you and you just feeling like I can't cope. This is a nice little coping strategy because none of those folders will get too big and you always allocate times like I just shared where you know I can get this little you know couple of emails done in this time frame that otherwise may have been wasted. So I just wanted to share that because it's all well and good for me to say, be a calm achiever. But this is one of the things you can practically put into your day to help you feel like a calm achiever because of the action you're taking. And then of course, when we feel the stress come up, that's where we do our woo-woo stuff and we take breaths and we allow ourselves to feel like a calm achiever because stress never solves any problems for anyone ever. It only exacerbates them. So bring yourself back to your calm achiever state. And I've shared it many times. I'm going to share it again because it's a great little tool. Jump onto melindareely.com.au and check out the Serene Mind Practice under my meditation. Beautiful little three minute meditation that will keep you going when you're feeling like you're wigged out. Something you can do in the middle of your day. It doesn't take much time. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that was helpful. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Ciao.